Best April Fool's Day Jokes by Car Companies Cometh the April Fool's Day, cometh the April Fool's Day Jokes. Here are the car world's best efforts at pulling the wool over our eyes. Car manufacturers around the world aren't really known for their sense of humor, but every April Fool's Day numerous PR departments let their hair down and display their human side by concocting a varied array of April Fool's jokes. It turns out that even the biggest car makers enjoy an April Fool's jape as much as the rest of us, and given the resources at their disposal, they often go to great lengths to make their efforts look as convincing as possible. Their attempts at fooling the public usually take the form of an advert or press release, promoting some far-fetched new model or science fiction technology advancement that the company claims to be working on. These red herrings lie in wait for all the unsuspecting victims who have failed to check their calendars or consume the necessary dosage of caffeine-based beverages on the morning of April 1st. Naturally the quality of these April Fool's Day jokes varies greatly, and while some are barely worthy of the title joke, others achieve legendary status and are warmly recalled each year. So without further ado, here are the best April Fool's Day jokes from the motoring world, as remembered by the team here at Auto Express and starting with the finest efforts for April Fool's Day 2017. April Fool's Day 2017, Best Manufacturer Jokes BMW's Drive Dog Basket BMW spared a thought for our four-legged friends this April Fool's Day with the Drive Dog Basket. The high-tech doggy bed is modeled on the firm's latest electric car range and puts your pooch into the zen-like state it can only usually attain by sticking its head out of the car window. The wind in the fur feeling is delivered by a BMW twin-power turbo fan that fires a stiff breeze right into the dog's face. Everyone's a winner. McLaren's Feather Wrap The rap industry, not to be confused with the hip-hop one, is known for creating ever more ludicrous designs to adorn the population of supercars across the world. However, McLaren has taken that practice to a whole new level with its April Fool's Day 2017 contribution. They announced Feather Wrap, consisting of 10,000 artificial, carbon vein feathers, as an option on the McLaren 570 GT model. Taking over 300 hours to assemble by hand, the British car maker claimed that the unusual feature would provide aerodynamic benefits and add just 2.5 kilograms to the weight of the car. To us it looks like the British supercar has been in collision with a particularly plump pheasant. Lexus's Lane Valet Technology Okay, so Lexus hasn't quite managed to pull the wool over our eyes with this one, but their Lane Valet Tech story for this April Fool's Day is our early frontrunner for the Thing We Wish Was Real award. According to the spoof ad, the autonomous software upgrade allows Lexus drivers to move slower motorists in front into a more appropriate lane at the press of a button. So rather than the usual combination of flashing headlights, unspeakable hand gestures followed by a dangerous undertaking maneuver, instead the path ahead is cleared safely to allow uninterrupted motorway progress. Hyundai's click-to-fly car deliveries Hyundai's 2017 April Fool's effort played on the very real trend for the car buying process moving online. The Korean firm touted its click-to-fly scheme under which customers can supposedly purchase their vehicle on Hyundai's click-to-buy website and have it delivered in under two hours by a team of airborne high drones. The drones, which Hyundai claims are powered by its hydrogen fuel cell technology, arrive through the sky with your new Hyundai slung underneath in a big box and plunk it onto your driveway before lowering the key into your hand. The manufacturer says it only needs two drones for an i10 city car delivery but four for the extra bulk of a Santa Fe SUV. If that doesn't set your April Fool's antennae twitching, the accompanying video probably will. Honda's in-car dating app we thought Honda had entered the April Fool's Day game early when they promised McLaren a competitive F1 engine earlier in the year, but alas, we were mistaken. The Japanese company has instead opted for a far less ambitious gag this April Fool's Day, announcing the launch of their H-Swipe in-car dating app, which claims to help romantically challenged millennials find love at the wheel. Activated when the car is stationary, 
The software utilizes a digital windscreen to present the driver with nearby suitors, which are either accepted or rejected by using the wipers to swipe profiles to the left or to the right. That's one way of occupying time in a traffic jam. The Dacia Sundaro Apparently we only get 1,440 hours of sunlight per year in the UK, which might explain why so many people spend a small fortune on access to tanning salons in order to top up that all-important tan. This has inspired Dacia to come up with an innovative solution this April Fool's Day, which comes in the form of the new Dacia Sundaro model, a car equipped with UV tanning tubes which convert every seat into a sunbed. The goggles provided don't look especially stylish, but if the video above is anything to go by, they pale in comparison to the tan line left behind by the seat belt. MG's voice-controlled Imagi windscreens In what appears to be an amalgamation of elements from various April Fool's Day hoaxes of years past into one April Fool epic, MG has brought us the voice-controlled Imagi windscreen. It uses MG in Turkar Imagi technology or mice, giving MG customers the opportunity to proudly inform friends and acquaintances that their car has mice. The suspicious windscreen tech uses LED technology in the car's front and rear windscreens to allow the driver to communicate with other road users through the medium of Imagi. The brains behind this voice-controlled tech is said to be one Professor Hans Free. You couldn't make it up, so MG did it for you. Skoda's Rent a Family Test Drive Service Want to test an SUV but can't drag your family along for the ride? No problem. Or at least it wouldn't be a problem if Skoda's Rent a Family Test Drive Service was a genuine offering and not an April Fool's Day hoax. Skoda advertised the faux service by claiming they could provide crayon-wielding kids, insolent infants, and talkless teens for that authentic test drive experience. The stand-ins would be trained to deliver common phrases such as Are we there yet? and I need the toilet at regular intervals, and Skoda even promised the option of a travel-sick dog as part of the package. Happily, you only need Auto Express in order to read a Kodiak review that's almost as thorough. Man's Ice Cream Man Not to be outdone, commercial vehicle specialist Man Truck and Bus UK unveiled a special edition Ice Cream Man to be unveiled on the Sunday before the 2017 commercial vehicle show. Equipped with 99 special build features, the Ice Cream Man comes with a magnum of great options and a sound system featuring tracks such as I'm Your Man, Stand By Your Man and The Candy Man. Sounds like flake news to us. April Fool's Day, best car company efforts from the years gone by. Minnie's Hipster Hatch. Minnie chose to target its 2016 April Fool's effort at the growing hipster market, offering us the world premiere of the mini hipster hatch. The spoof car features INST Agram filtered windows, a twin deck cassette player and stonewashed denim upholstery, all features that any self-respecting Hoxton trendster would love. Mini also claims a fixed gear drivetrain for the car to match the hipster's retro cool bicycle of choice and offered comments from the senior external product launch experience curator at Mini UK, Ivana Nooker. Vauxhall's wind up Adam. Vauxhall claimed to have entered a new era of zero running costs and emissions this year with the launch of its Adam C. Closer inspection reveals that this is the world's first full-size wind up car and Vauxhall's in-house jokers reckon a 15-minute wind powers it for a range of 125 miles. An added bonus is apparently that by exercising your chest, shoulders, arms, and core muscles, a 65 kilograms person can expect to burn over 400 calories in just 15 minutes of winding. The man behind the design was Mick Ken Eichel, Vauxhall's chief kinetics engineer. I think we'd rather get the bus. Honda's Imagi number plate. With Imagi symbols now infiltrating all aspects of modern life, Honda couldn't resist weighing in with the Imagi number plate. Here smilly faces and other nonsensical pics replace traditional letters and numbers. Honda claimed the plates are a response to demand from younger buyers and that talks are planned with the driver and vehicle licensing agency in an endeavor to exclusively launch the new plates in early 2017. Good luck in that meeting guys.
Skoda Superb Dog Umbrella There's a pull-out umbrella in the door of the Skoda Superb Executive Saloon so the logical next step is to install a second rain shield for use by dogs. Skoda took just that leap for April Fool's Day claiming that there would be no more soggy shizas or damp discoons thanks to innovative design. The press release also treated us to the ramblings of Coda project leader Dr. Jacques Russell. British rain is officially the wettest in the world, so we knew this accessory would have big appeal with owners in the UK. During development, we captured large quantities of British rain and brought it back to our workshop in the Czech Republic before signing the design off. MG's Invisible Car MG thought it'd have a crack at an April Fool's joke and used that old chestnut of revealing its first invisible car. With help from Professor C. Through and Chief Designer Avril F. Wheel, the brand expressed its excitement about its new car. Of course, with it being invisible, there were reported development issues. Matthew Cheney, head of sales and marketing at MG, said, At first we had some trouble with the cars, as people kept walking into them or we'd misplace them on the site. As soon as we placed the iconic MG badge on the front of them, using non-invisible materials, we were able to find them much more easily. He went on to add that parking tickets would be a thing of the past, because traffic wardens wouldn't be able to see it. Of course, neither would any cars driving in that think the bay is empty. The Jeep Wrangler Grill Grill Like Porsche, Jeep shared its April Fools via social media channels. The Wrangler Grill Grill is, well, shaped like the grill from a Wrangler. In that most manly of pursuits, the barbecue, it is obvious that Jeep wants to get in on the culinary delights of cooking a slab of beef to within an inch of its life. The grill would be perfect for those looking to take advantage of the Wrangler's rugged appeal and could be great for a Jeep-themed camping trip in Colorado, the Amazon rainforest or the Lake District. Ford's Massive Mustang Shrubbery In one of the more elaborate April Fool's stings of 2015, Ford produced a spoof breaking news video about a farmer so besotted with the Ford Mustang muscle car that he planted a giant shrubbery in the shape of the car's iconic batch. The report claims that the painstakingly laid out prancing pony is visible from planes landing at Stansted Airport and there was even a happy ending for our fictitious farmer because the Mustang was indeed coming to the UK for the first time that year. Skoda's Chameleon Car On April 1, 2015, Skoda revealed the solution to the age-old car buying question, what color should I choose? The answer being all of them. The brand announced a color concept system, a 500 pounds option on the Fabia Super Mini that allows buyers to mix and match body, roof, and wheel colors with appalling results. Better still, the shade change function lets you change the color of individual body panels at the touch of a button. According to Dr. Joe Kyng of Prague University, each panel is coated with a microscopic layer of unobtainium a newly discovered element that changes color when a small electrical charge is applied to it. Nissan's Jim Button Nissan announced a new way for drivers of its cars to fight the flab when behind the wheel for April Fool's Day 2015. The Jim Button disables labor-saving gadgets like power steering and increases the force required to operate the pedals and gearbox. Suddenly your drive to work becomes a blood vessel bursting workout capable of burning an average of 1,415 calories a day. Vauxhall's Mobile Kebab Shop Taxi Vauxhall announced a breakthrough for the evening entertainment industry for April Fool's 2015. The Taxi Kebabi is a 9-seater Vauxhall Vivero Combi taxi with built-in kebab shop. The van comes with bold Abra Kebabra exterior decals and a couple of chicken donor kebabs rotating gently in the boot. As well as the two gas-fired spit rotisserie grills, the modified Vivero is said to have salad bowls integrated into the armrests, chili dispensers and of course a tasty selection of sauces. The quote for this one came from taxi driver Jason Dunner van with Vivero's class leading whole life costs, this incredible vehicle offers us hard-pushed drivers another valuable revenue stream that could ultimately see taxi fares being slashed. Mercedes-AMG Sprinter 
Mercedes was quick out of the blocks for April Fool's Day 2015 with a spurious rendering of a Mercedes AMG Sprinter 63S circulated on social media. The panel van was claimed to be packing a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 with 503 bhp, enough to get any red-blooded delivery driver hot under the collar. Sports suspension, a full body kit and upgraded wheels completed the package but it would be hard to imagine any sane employer footing the fuel bill. Volkswagen's extra tiny van. April Fool's Day 2015 really did bring the van manufacturers out in force, even the usually straight-laced Volkswagen. The German brand proposed the Caddy Maxi Mini, a 2.4 M long micro van with one seat and only enough room for a toolbox or the driver's lunch. Basically, you could take more with you if you got the bus. To top it all, VW quoted its head of commercial vehicle product development, Dr. Avon Alaf. We see the Caddy Maxi Mini as our equivalent of the chocolate bars at the supermarket checkout. We hope that when customers come and buy one of our multi-award winning full-size vans, they'll add a Caddy Maxi Mini as a little treat. Skoda's Harry Yeti. Skoda introduced us to the Yeti Ice Special Edition for April Fool's Day 2014. The car features a special faux fur finish developed by Skoda engineers working in the Himalayas. The press release, which came complete with quotes from Skoda experts DRU Sitting and Prof Look at the Date, explained that personalization options including side partings and fur extensions are available. Red Bull F1 in race tweeting technology. Formula One will test a new steering wheel in Bahrain that allows drivers to send tweets during the race. Number F1PIC.twitter.com slash 6BGWNEJPL Red Bull Motorsports, at Red Bull Motors, April 1, 2014 Red Bull announced a new addition to its F1 steering wheel for April Fool's Day 2014 technology that would allow drivers to tweet during a race. Fittingly announced via the medium of Twitter, the new wheel was billed as the perfect way to let F1 drivers stay in touch with their fans. Vauxhall's Brazilian World Cup Astra Vauxhall attempted to dupe the nation with a special edition Astra Copacabana tied in with the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil. The footballer graphics on the flanks and giant Brazilian flag on the roof are just about believable. The turf-covered seats, sand-filled footwells, and onboard cocktail vending machine inside, less so. Mazda's four-seater MX-5. We're excited to share with you the first picture of the all-new Mazda MX-5 four-seater. pic.twitter.com slash g 9 uphtp Mazda UK, at Mazda underscore UK, April 1st, 2014. The nippy little Mazda MX-5 can now be enjoyed by the whole family, thanks to Mazda's introduction of the four-seater version on April Fool's Day 2014. That extra long wheelbase and extra weight shouldn't affect handling too much, right? BMW's Force Injection Booster BMW announced a new system that puts the thrill back into driving for April Fool's Day 2014. It claimed that the force injection booster works by extracting kinetic energy from the car's engine and converting it into positive G-forces. The effect being that drivers can experience the thrill of high-speed driving even at modest speeds of just 20 miles per hour. Additional BMW Airnet technology works to keep occupants' hairdos in tip-top condition while all this is going on. In the press release Professor Mika Notbetru, head of BMW Innovation, described FIB technology as mind-blowingly unbelievable. Mini's Cooper T. You've heard of the Cooper S and Cooper D Mini models, well Mini asked you to suspend disbelief to accommodate a Cooper T on April Fool's Day 2014. It sounds plausible until you learn the car supposedly runs on T. Capable of covering 40 miles on a single cup and equipped with dunk avoidance technology to prevent unscrupulous individuals from lowering biscuits into the fuel tank, the Cooper T was a tough one to swallow. Peugeot's Audio Sonic Personalization Program for Car Horns Peugeot announced a new personalization option for its cars in April 1, 2014. 
The Audio Sonic personalization program for car horns invited customers to record their own sounds for their car's horn that would reflect their taste and character so that everyone can enjoy a truly individual horn. An accompanying video showed the technology in action. Seats Electro Reflective Exterior Panel Finish Seat came over all James Bond with its 2008 April Fool's Day joke. A press release revealed the manufacturer had developed a groundbreaking electro-reflective exterior panel finish that could adapt to mimic the car's surroundings. There was no word on how owners would find their car again once they'd parked it. Hyundai's i10 Pope Mobile Hyundai treated us to an unlikely modified version of its i10 City Car in on April Fool's Day 2009. The premise behind the i10 special project Pope Mobile was that the, the head of the Catholic Church wanted to get around in something more environmentally friendly than the usual armor-plated subs. The game was given away by Hyundai's press release small print that claimed, all leather from the seat facings was replaced with parts of tapestry woven by monks from the Indian city of Uttar Pradesh. BMW's M3 pickup truck when is an April Fool's Day joke not an April Fool's Day joke, when it's a BMW M3 pickup? BMW lifted the lid on this 414BHP V8 Ute based on its M3 convertible in 2011, proudly announcing that there was enough space in the back for 20 golf bags. We sniggered but it turned out that the M3 pickup was real. It was subsequently spotted lapping the Nürburgring and, weighing 50 kilograms less than an M3 coupe, is said to be capable of 186 miles per hour. Vauxhall's Accelerator Pedal Retarding Intervention Lump In 2006 Vauxhall announced a neat optional extra for its Astra VXR hot hatch, on April 1st. The Accelerator Pedal Retarding Intervention Lump was a detachable chunk of the floor mat that sat underneath the throttle pedal and prevented drivers from giving it the full potatoes. Vauxhall claimed that under extensive testing, the lump reduced the VXR's normal 6.2 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour time to a far more stately and environmentally friendly 14.06 seconds. Cheap but effective. Kia Ki underscore WII kills the steering wheel. In 2008 Kia looked to capitalize on the success of the Nintendo WII games console with a Kia underscore WII concept car April Fool's Day joke. Kia said that the car had a portable controller instead of the conventional steering wheel and pedals. This enabled it to be driven from any of its four seats, even by the kids in the back. It seems obvious to us that if children as young as eight can drift, rally and race their way to multiple world championships on a games console, then this new driving system will be simple enough for anyone to use, said the blurb. Coming from the manufacturer responsible for the CD and the Pro underscore CD, nobody batted an eyelid at the key underscore WII silly name but five-year-olds driving cars was a step too far. Land Rover's self-leveling tax disc Land Rovers are known for the extreme unnatural angles they can achieve off-road without toppling over but, as we all know, that can present a huge problem for anyone wanting to read the car's tax disc. This was the thinking behind Land Rover's 2011 self-leveling tax disc joke. The British brand even went to the trouble of creating a video of the launch of the pivoting tax disc holder. In the film, it claimed that the device was designed by a MR joking, of all people. Kia's Aerosol Kia really pushed the Photoshop boat out in generating the images of its Aerosol April Fool's gag in 2009. The car was said to be modified with a new air propulsion and retardation installation line system that harnessed the power of the wind to save fuel. Seat Aerotonto Wind Turbine Seat probably put a lot of thought into its wind turbine equipped Evisa Ecomotive April Fool's effort in 2009 but little did they know that it was destined to be comprehensively overshadowed by Kia's spectacular aerosol. The Aerotonto system is based on a similar false premise of harnessing the power of the wind to boost efficiency. Seat claimed that the turbine on the roof generated enough energy to power the car's high beam headlights at 24 miles per hour. You wouldn't want to take it through a car wash though. BMW's political roundel attachment tag. 
As election fever gripped the country in 2010, BMW looked to cash in with a political April Fool's Day effort. The political roundel attachment tag, Pratt, was an opportunity for BMW drivers to show their allegiance to a political party by changing the colors on their car's badges. Auto Windscreen's Prescription Windscreen It's not just car manufacturers that like an April Fool's Day prank. In 2010 Auto Windscreens revisited an old joke by announcing the world's first prescription windscreen. There was even a mocked-up video and publicity shot featuring British touring car driver Tom Chilton. Tailored to the individual's ophthalmic prescription the windscreen was created to eliminate the need for drivers to wear their glasses or contact lenses at the wheel. The auto windscreen's press release even went so far as to claim that each screen came with a giant cleaning cloth. BMW's Magnetic Toe Technology Another classic BMW April Fool's joke was the 2009 announcement of magnetic tow technology. The system purported to use a magnetic field that would allow BMW drivers to creep up behind other traffic and latch on for a fuel-saving ride. For once, we're happy to be behind the competition, said the tagline on BMW's spoof ad.